All right, boys, we're back from the 70 Sins Grand Cross video. Now, um, before I get into this, I want to say I have made a fair amount of uh, hate videos on Global, hating on it, t talking about how bad it is, how god-awful the management is, how money-hungry they are, everything, right? But for the rest of the month, unless they do like some big fuck-up, I'm not going to say anything, okay? I know because I know a lot of people, a lot, most of you actually play Global, so I don't want to just ruin your version for you um you can do whatever you want it's fine i'm not gonna hate on global unless they do like a really really big fuck up okay but for the most part you won't hear any global hate from me for the rest of the month okay but hey june we're back june we'll, we'll be back june no worry so i might be asking why i'm on this actually you're not asking that because you, you read the title i assume so slime collab on global free new units technically four right um you get this free slime as well now uh, I'm not going to talk too much about him. I might showcase him, but um, I'm not going to too much about him in this video since you don't summon him. You get him for free. Or if, which, if you didn't know, you get the slime for free. <laughs> um, but let's start off the main character, right? I was going to give you a basic run, uh, rundown and then tell you if he's if it's worth to summon on that unit or not. Because we don't know how the banners are going to be up yet. Um, if they did it like they did on JP, it will be Rimuru first as a solo banner. And then a few days later, they'll release a second banner with Milim and Benimaru. Okay. The other way, I saw Rimuru, main guy. I thought I was a girl. I'm not gonna lie, because um, I haven't I haven't watched Slime anime yet. I I have to. I've I've owed a lot of friends that. Ah, it's fine. Anyway, so um, I actually think this unit is very underrated, and that's mostly because a lot of JP players don't have it, so they just talk bad about it. Now, what does Rimuru do? Alright, a pacifist, every time uh, he gets hit, he gets an 8% increase to all his defense related stats. So that's uh, his his crit resistance, his crit defense, his defense, what, what else, what can I think of? Oh yeah, and his regular resistance, true, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, which is defense related stats, his, um, they're all pretty bad, okay? I'm not gonna lie, they're all pretty bad. 20 resistance is meh, uh, 280 defense is just slightly above, like, it's like, Average SSR, I guess. Let's check. Let's compare with Meliodas. Yeah, 300. Yeah, okay. 300 is like average SS, uh, SSR, but there's a lot of SSRs that also reach like 240 and higher. So, 280 defense, not too bad, uh, not too good. Um, 6,000 HP is really good though, and 560 attack is also phenomenal. Uh, it's the same attack as Escanor, by the way. Um, now he has 25% pierce rate, which is like I think that's like the the baseline where you have to be to be able to like. They show decent damage, um, so he meets that requirement. Then he has a 20% crit chance, which is not too awful, um, and he has 160 crit damage, which is really, which is really good. So if you get him to crit, he, he's going to do a lot of damage. Um, he's got good links too. He's got both Gotham and Milios, fantastic links. Both has, have SRS so you can get to 66, right? Um, other than that, his uh, his cards. His first one, it's if you've used Blue Diane, she does double damage to buffs. He has the same thing, Rupture, right? Uh, double damage against buffed enemies. It's 180, 270, 450. If you double that, it's a lot of damage. Um, it's called Ayohana. I just, I don't know. I need to watch the show. I know. Um, anyways, decent skill, decent multipliers. Um, on PvP, as far as I'm concerned, global people still run Arthur a lot, so you can just, you know, destroy them with Rimuru. But meta will probably change. The second skill. Is set is un, it's so un, it could be so much better. But second skill is he puts up a stance, okay? Or assumes a stance, and it gives him debuff immunity, and it heals 30% of his uh, diminished HP at the start of the next turn, right? Kind of like uh, the SR bond. Um, just that he has debuff immunity on his rank one already, which debuff immunity, that's good, right? But he doesn't taunt. He does taunt on his rank two though, which that makes him good because. Assumes a stance of taunt, which taunts enemies and grants debuff immunity, blah blah. Same thing, but he taunts, right? Now, why is it good that he taunts? It's because he wants to get hit, right? To stack his passive. Which I hope, I wish his passive was increases attack related stats, because then he'd actually be so good. But it's defense related, so they want him to be like kind of like a tank that never dies because he keeps healing himself, like a self sufficient tank. But his stats aren't quite the best um, defensively, and. If you get hit eight times, you should be dead. I, I, most cases you'll be dead. So in PvP you won't be able to stack that much. In PvE it's kind of fine. Like, you, like he's not too bad. Mm. And 
it's not like he doesn't do damage. He does decent damage, right? Like the if you fight a like a buffed enemy, which um I won't talk about this in this video like too much. Like there'll be a whole different video of team building. There'll be a new raid, an Ifrit raid, and in that raid he is strong, right? Like he has the, the bonus damage, and he, Ifrit also buffs himself the entire time, so he will do a lot of damage. Ifrit's also red, so he just is he's just going to destroy it. Um, but uh, if we're team building video and everything and strategy I'll, will come out like once the content's actually out and people can farm it. Um, the second part uh, is ultimate is uh, just cancelled. It's just, it's Meliodas ult pretty much. I'm pretty sure it's the same as Meliodas. Um, oh, sorry, sorry for saying that. Yeah, it's the same thing. I'm not, I can't edit this video right now. So I guess will be just a, like a one take video. I'm sorry. He has that and he has a fate link with Meliodas, which is so good. It's so good to have. A 280 attack link, right? With an SR, you can get to 6-6 six, six, like really easily. Plus having the fade, so the 1k CC, plus the attack, it's it's really good. Um, so he's alright. Um, I'll give my reasoning as to why you should or shouldn't summon at the end. Actually, no, I'll just do it now. I'll just do it for any video, you know, so you don't have to like you should watch the whole video, you know, it helps helps the channel up, but it's fine. So Reamer, I'll say summon. Ah, uh, you know what? I'd say summon. Um, because mainly you get so many gems in Grand Cross, right? Like every week you get at least a, a multi, okay? Some of you might get two multis. Or like you'll get something in between it. Most of you, okay? I assume. Because you you watch my channel, you must be a good player. So, um, Rimuru is pretty good. You won't use him too much. You'll use him for the event and then every now and then when, you, when you're like, Oh, I can use him, you'll, you'll fit him in. I wouldn't say go get him to level 86 or whatever. Um, just use him here and then. You can have him 64, so it's fine. He's a fun unit. I think, and he's not bad. And the most important part, uh, part of this game is to have fun, right? So, if you, he's not okay, if you want a unit that's just super meta and super broken, don't summon, right? But they will never return, or they haven't returned on JP ever since, right? It's been like almost a year now. I think they'll return with season two, but that's just I guess we have no idea. But I, th I do think that, especially as a collect, if you're a collector, hundred percent you should summon. See, that's such a weird perspective. It's, if they never return. It's sad if you don't have the units, okay? Because I'm sad I don't have them on my JP account because I made my like I I quit JP after this event um, for various reasons, and then I started later, and that account obviously didn't have them. So from a collector's perspective, 100% you should summon. But then that's go that goes for everything. Like, you're a collector, you shouldn't probably watch this video. You should just summon everything if you're well. The same thing. If you're a budget player, I reckon it's a fun celebration, and I don't want you ha not having fun. So. You can throw a multi or two, or maybe more, right? At the banner. Maybe if you if you feel kind of nice, you can buy the, the pack that they probably released with it, where you get a guaranteed new slime unit. You know, uh, get lucky, get Rimuru, which I think Rimuru is actually the best of them for you. Maybe Benny Mares. They're all kind of like on the same level. But right, let's move on to the next one, right? Which is Milim. Nice. Milim, now I hate this unit, okay? I'm probably not qualified to tell you to summon for this unit. I think she's absolute, like, just dog poo because her stats, you might look at this and you're like, okay, except the defense that, that's SR level. HP is like a lot, but it's really good, okay? That's like really, that's a really solid HP stat and it really like the highest attack stat that we have currently. But, 0% pierce rate, okay? Now, you can, once Lilia comes out, give her pierce raid, you can run pierce for two, you can you can kind of make her work if you really li like her. And not a lot of people are love Milim, I was gonna say like, but no, they love Milim, okay? Um, now, her whole gimmick is that she has 80% crit chance and 120 crit damage, but that crit damage is nothing, right? Like 120 is like, it's, it's pretty much nothing, but she increases her crit damage by 8% per every school, uh, skill used by the hero, limit 10 times, so she gets, she gets up to 200% crit damage. Also, her first skill doubles uh, her crit damage if you crit, right? So, you'll be critting a lot with her, and you'll also um, have a high crit damage multiplier. Her second skill, which is actually really good, is it disables uh, ultimate attack boost. It's it's, re it's a really good debuff to have. If you don't have uh, ult gauge removal, you just slap it on them, boom, they can't ult. It's really good. Um, you can cleanse it away, obviously. Vivian has, has the same skill. I think it's pretty good. For training cave, which will... Should be out soon on Globe as well. Uh, it's really good as well. And then her ult is Detonate, which is for every ult gauge they have, they take 15% more damage. It's pretty good damage. Um, 350 though is kind of low, and you're probably not going to get her to 6-6. But with all the crit damage she has, you can probably make it work, right? 
If you run green Halberm with her, she'll get her penetration and everything, so... She's not a terrible unit. I just think really badly of her because she has zero penetration. For me, the most important stat is penetration. Other than that, she she's not bad, okay? Um, also, if you like her, go summon her. If the banner is set up like JP, where Rimu has his own banner, and then Milam and Benny Maru have their banner together, then I reckon you summon, right? Just go, go ahead, summon. If they all have split banners, or they're all free on one, if they're all free on one, 100% summon. If they're split banners, um, then if they're all free separate, then you should. But if they're like, like a JP with uh, Milam and Benny, Benny Maru on the same one, uh, go ahead, summon. Um, like I, it's, it's it's sad if you miss out on these units. Milim is not great, but you can use her, right? I, I still I'm like I'm high, I'm like champions four, three, two, one, like every now and then it depends. I keep switching, obviously. Um, I see I still see her in JP PvP every now and then, and you know simply casual, right? He's her her biggest simp. He loves her. He defends her. We did a PvP match of Valkyrie to just just so he could show me that she was good. Which in that match, right? I just want to say she didn't do she didn't do anything. Okay, he had green the end. And it was like, I was saying that Slater is better than her, which he is, okay, listen, he is. But he was saying that Melee was better, and then did a PvP match, and his green Deanne, right, was stacked out the fucking wazoo. She dominated me, okay? But Melee didn't do shit. I just want to point that out. Okay, anyway. Should you summon Melee? Yeah, sure, go ahead. It, this is probably, like, this is actually my answer for everything. None of these units are game-breaking. Right? You just have to make your own opinion now. Um, you make your own, own decision. None of these units are game-breaking, none of these units are like stupid broken, none of these units are like meta for PvP, but they're all fun. They're all fun, and maybe you can come up with like a quirky team that makes them work. And because they're like really, like they, they never come back, right? They're, as far as we're concerned, they'll, they'll never come back. It'd be sad if you miss out on them, because every other unit you can just pull, right? Like, it's if you, if you, don't, you don't have to summon on like the future banners, because they'll be in a general pool, you'll pull them eventually, right? But they're only here now. And then the leave. So you kind of want to summon, right? Makes sense. Um, but before, right, before you 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 tell me no, I don't want to summon. Oh, they're not PVP. I'm, I'm champions one. I'll tell you what. Um, let's go over Benny Maru, who I think you guys will probably like. His passive, Unbreakable Pride, increases the hero's damage by three percent per skill use, which doesn't seem to have a cap. So if you want to go into um, a stage and keep spamming this skill with his second skill which doesn't do damage right well, we'll get in, we'll get to it in a second and just stack his damage to plus three million percent then sure go ahead fucking send me a screenshot dude send me a screenshot of him doing 500 million if you really want to sit there for 13 hours and just do the same thing but let's go into uh, attack skills his attack skills the same as red bond and green jericho and hugo <laughs> Which has weak point, so it does triple damage against um, debuffed enemies, which is pretty good. And especially in combination, I'm not gonna go into the multipliers, you know the skill. It's the same as Jericho and Red Bond, literally the same thing. thing. Which sec his second skill is it de de decreases defense related stats, which is super good, of all enemies by a certain percent that you can just see 20, 30, and 40. For two turns on rank, two, two turns on rank one is so good. Um, especially because this combos well with himself. Like he has weak points, he has triple damage. He also lowers their, um, their resistance and their defense, right? And like the, obviously her their crit resistance and crit defense too. But like the the big two things are the defense and the resistance that he lowers, which is really good. And he also has a three percent crit chance. So if he lowers the crit resistance, um, he has a higher chance of crit, right? It's like pretty much giving him a twenty percent crit chance increase as well. So he's really good. His stats are really good. Except the defense again. Defense is very underwhelming, but defense is the stat that gives you the least CC. Uh, this, the formula is like the full attack and then like 0.8 times the uh, the defense and then like a fifth of the HP, but because HP is such a massive number, the fifth HP is still the, the most impactful stat to CC. That's why you want HP defense, I, I guess. But 6200 HP is, is really good. 580 attack is phenomenal. 268 defense is garbage, right? Just trying to say it. I love this unit, but he's garbage. 20 pierce rate, not too good. Like it's it's really ba it's like really like the entry level damage dealer. Okay, <laughs> let's call it that. But he does still, uh, decrease them all, so he does make it work. And his ult is houses open single target. All right, there's nothing much to say. It does does decent damage, obviously, but his first skill is the thing that's going to do the most. Other than that, skills is the stats aren't too crazy good. Um, I don't know why they give them like th this is not too bad. Right? I mean, Eskino has 0% crit resistance, it's not bad. 
But I don't know, I, 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 if they gave him like 50 PS rate, you know, just a just casual 50, he'd be so much better. He also has a slime as a link and only bot. It's he's missing links because you can get the slime to 6 6, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, pretty easily. So you should go and do that. But are you going to level the slime up to level like 86 or so you can have him? Also, I don't think, yeah, he doesn't have a fade either, which that's sad. But it's fine. He does good damage, right? Um, you can run him against, uh, uh, it tells you here, Crimson. He's pretty good for Crimson because you do debuff him and then he can pop off with his weak point. It's the same reason I use Red Nunchuck Ban. He's not bad. He's actually really good. His pass, I think he's really good. I don't have him in, on JP, else I do like 10 showcases of him every day. He seems really cool and really fun to use. I might make a global account just to summon and get him and then showcase him. I'm not sure yet. Or I might ask like a friend if I can like have his friend unit. Okay, let's put it like that uh, as his first showcase. But other than that, I think he's a he's a he's probably I think in my opinion he's the best other three, and a, a lot like very underrated because a lot of the new JP players like they don't know him, right? Like Nagato doesn't know about him, so you can't like form an opinion. But I keep telling him that he's good. Um, I don't know what like simply casual Mika. I don't know what he thinks about him. He probably thinks he's not too bad as well. Mystic did a team of the free where he showcased them, but he focused Miller. Like he he kept using Miller. If you use Benny Mara, I can guarantee you won. Anyways, um, should you summon Benny Mara? I think yeah. Especially if Miller and Benny Benny Mara on the same banner like they were in JP, you should definitely summon. Also, even if you're free to play, consider buying the ticket. It's like five dollars to ten maybe, and it guarantees you the new unit, like one of the new units. It's really good. It's really worth it. Okay. Um. Other than that, there's not much to it. Like I said, my opinion on summoning is you have to make your own decision for the most part. But I do recommend summoning. They're not bad units and they're really cool and good to have. They're more SSRs and it's sad if you miss out on them. From a fun perspective and from a like meta perspective, they're not horrible. You can make them work, okay? If you're a good player, you can make them work. You can... Benny Mario you can definitely make work, okay? Milam you can also definitely make work. Rimu is probably harder to make work. Because Rimu doesn't taunt, and Rimu has terrible defensive related stats. But you can probably make a team around them, it's fun. It, the most important thing is fun. And I think these units aren't like bad bad, um, like other units. And especially because they're not added to the general pool, it's not like, oh, I skip them, you'll get them in the future, right? They're not like must-haves. They're not must-haves, none of them are. But Grand Cross gives you so many gems, you might as well summon. Because you'll never have them in the future. And it's sad, because they're cool units. And at one point, you'll look at your box, everything is your art. And then what you see? You see free wanted posters. You see Benny, Mara, Rima, and Milan. And that's sad, right? Anyways, that's gonna be it for the video. I hope I cleared up things. Um, if there's more questions, you can go ahead and ask me. But for the most part, make your own decision. I think they're fun units. It's not like the other units that you can skip and then get them in the future. You have to get them now. Which I think you should definitely have fun in the celebration. There's so much in the celebration that's actually really fun. Which I'll get to in like a different video. Other than that, hope you enjoyed. Ciao.